Hello and welcome back to Cray Outdoors. Today we are once again heading into the Appalachian Wilderness or Appalachian Wilderness as they call it here in the south. We are in eastern Tennessee. The stream that's behind me has uh, native brook trout and wild rainbow trout in it. Same stream I fished in my last video, but in my last video I fished this section of stream here. It's only about, I don't know, a half hour hike to here. Today we're going to hike about an hour uh, past here up into the headwaters and try and catch native brook trout. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Getting a late start because uh, yesterday the Buffalo Bills uh, beat the, the Broncos and clinched the uh, division title for the first time since uh, 1995. I was two years old um, at that time. So big celebration. If you can't tell, I'm a native of Western New York for those of you uh, from the Eastern Tennessee area that are tuning in. I'm excited, uh, getting a late start, but it was a good day yesterday, so hopefully we have a good day fishing today. Well, haven't made it to the headwaters, but this is too pretty to pass up. <laughs> You're a rainbow. Not a brook trout. Whoop. All right, quick release. See ya, buddy. <laughs> I don't know if I count that. My net's back there. I haven't even made it to the big waterfall yet. I left my net way back there. <sighs> Roto. It's just such a pain in the butt to travel through. This is pretty. Let's see if we can catch some trout underneath this. Didn't take long. Whoa! That did not look like a rainbow. Gloves off. This could be a brook trout. That was not a rainbow. Oh, it keeps coming off. That one might have been a rainbow. That first one didn't look like a rainbow to me. Brook trout, brook trout, big brook trout. Oh, he's off. <laughs> oh, no. Dang it, I don't have my net either, so. That was a big brook trout. Watch the trout grab it. That's a beautiful brook trout. Dude, that is a freaking trophy. Come here. That is a freaking Appalachian trophy. Look at that. Folks, look at this. Oh boy, I gotta get my forceps out of my pocket and get them off the hook. Look at that Appalachian trophy right there. See you later, beautiful.
It's a rainbow. You're not a brook trout. You're a rainbow. I'll take it though, it's pretty still. The fact that I caught a brook trout in here means I probably should kill this thing. They compete with each other. You need to settle down there, boss. You need to settle down. Oh, he's off the hook. <laughs> Alright, Mr. Rainbow, we'll let you go. Brook trout. Look at the size of that brook trout, folks. Look at the size of that brook trout. Oh, beautiful. Look at you, son. Look at you, son. Oh boy, we gotta get to keep you in the water. That is a Southern Appalachian trophy right there. Look at that. Wow. All right, buddy, we'll let you go. Put you through enough trauma. Wow. Wowee. Beautiful fish. Uh. Alrighty folks, we've reached our destination. The big waterfall. Look at that. Look at that. That is beautiful. We can stand on those rocks right there. See there's a top tier to this waterfall while we're up here. Let's check it out. I have been here before. I haven't fished this waterfall yet. While we're up top here, let's just throw some casts here underneath this top tier. Make sure that there's no, uh, no brook trout that somehow got stuck in between these two waterfalls. There's a little bit of a trail right here. One thing that I've learned about brook trout is you just never know where they can be. Logically, it wouldn't make sense that they'd be between these two waterfalls, but in North Carolina and in the Adirondacks, I've caught them in between big waterfalls like this, so you never know. Right, for my next trick, getting to the waterfall. Doesn't, all this looks like decent trout habitat, but today I've been fishing pockets like this and haven't been catching anything. I'm only getting bites in the big, big holes underneath the bigger falls. So, it's gonna be our focus today. Look at that. <laughs> Folks, again, we're in a, and this isn't an official wilderness area, but this is an, an, a part of Eastern Tennessee that not many people see. This is not a waterfall that you'll find on any maps. Uh, you just gotta know that it's here. So, well, we're gonna try and make our way up top. Didn't catch anything in this hole here, even though it looks beautiful. I think, uh, I don't know if the trout are up this far. Still gonna be a cool spot to fish underneath that waterfall right there. I think, uh, I'm sure they were up here for the spawn, but now that it's winter, as you can see there's snow on the ground, they probably have moved back down into the lower holes where I was catching them in the beginning of the day, because I haven't caught anything in a while, so. I'm starting to question whether there are trout up here, but we're still gonna try it. This hole up here just looks too beautiful not to. We made it. Well, we tried a couple different baits. We are unsuccessful at catching anything underneath this gorgeous waterfall here. So we're gonna make our way back down 
probably going to hike all the way to where we were catching those fish in the beginning. Uh, that area seemed to be holding a lot of fish. And up here in the, the high headwaters, we're not catching much. I think it has to do with the time of year. I'm sure in the fall, the fish will be stacked up against this waterfall. But this time of year, you can see there's snow on the ground. The water's a bit colder. I think the fish are holding into the deep holes down low. So we're going to head back down low, see if we can't pull out one more fish before it gets dark on us. Of course, getting down is just as treacherous as getting up. Gotta be very careful with these rotten trees. But this one is one that we need for support, so. Here's the sketchiest spot. It's right here. All right. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, it's a nice hole right here. We're back closer to that area where uh, we were catching the fish. Wow, this is pretty in here. Nice chill spot. <laughs> Look where I'm fishing. This is incredible. All right, let's see if we can catch the trout that's in here. Unfortunately, I think we spooked him on the way down. But there might still be one in this hole that hasn't spooked yet. Whoa. Oh. Knew that was going to happen eventually. Finally happened. Hit my knee on that rock a little bit there too. Great. Well... Unfortunately, I think we spooked whatever was going to bite in there. Sorry, Moss. Didn't mean to disturb you. Alright, we're going to make our way back up. I saw a trout in here, so that's good news. It means there's trout in the area. Alright, well, we made it back to the magic hole down here where all the action was happening. I switched to a, a brighter colored worm since it's starting to get dark. I also uh, switched cameras. This camera does a little bit better in low light conditions and the battery was running low on my other camera. So uh, you're not crazy if you think that like the audio and video quality changed. Uh, it probably will because I'm using a completely different camera. Anyway, uh, I still think there's a couple of trout in here that we missed earlier. We're going to fish this hole again and see if we can catch some more fish in it. out of the valley absolutely gorgeous out here we're gonna call it quits and head out I had a great day always fun exploring waterfalls and catching fish pretty atypical day of trout fishing granted I don't have a lot of experience uh, winter trout fishing but it's basically what my research told me that inland trout fishing during the winter what happens is uh, you don't catch as many fish, but the fish that you do catch tend to be bigger, and they tend to be holed up in, you know, a couple of deep holes. I think four out of our five fish, or did we catch four fish today? I don't know. The majority of our fish today came out of that one hole, 
um, including both rainbows and brook trout that were, were hanging out in that hole. And I, I missed a couple of trout that I couldn't get to bite again. I definitely had a, a female brook trout on at one point. But anyway, that brook trout that I caught was one of uh, really probably one of the prettiest fish of my life, if not the prettiest fish that I've ever caught. And uh, it's probably my second biggest native brook trout. Uh, of course, I've caught bigger brook trout so that were stockies. Thank you all for watching. Be sure to subscribe. It was a, a great day. Yeah, we'll catch you in the next fishing adventure. <laughs>